be one somewhere. But a question that we can ask ourselves is this, how do we read the Bible? Do we read it as a random assortment of stories that just happen to be kind of randomly placed? Do we read it as a list of do's and don'ts? You know, you can do this, but you can't do this. Or do we read it as a kind of spiritual protection and that a verse a day keeps the devil away? We all read the Bible in different ways and none of them are inherently wrong or bad. But the truth is the Bible is so much more than just a random assortment of stories. And the Bible is it's a beautiful love story with the central theme of God relentlessly pursuing his beloved creation, drawing them back into relationship and worship of him. Let me put it this way. It's like a good series, a good movie series. Some of you may love Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. Honestly, I've never seen any of those. So I'm gonna give you a few seconds to stop judging me. Okay, we're good. For me, it's the Jason Bourne series. There's only a few movies in the series, but any one of those, in and of themselves is powerful, packed full of action, on the edge of your seat, great stories. But if you put them all together, you begin to see this bigger picture. And from beginning to end, if you see it as a whole, you can really begin to appreciate it in a whole different light, in a whole different context for what it is meant to be appreciated as. I believe the Bible is the same way. The Bible is not simply a random assortment of stories, but it is one great, overall story of God pursuing his people to be in a relationship with him. Since the beginning of time, when Adam and Eve ate of the fruit, totally dropped the ball and sin entered the world, since that moment, God has been relentlessly pursuing his creation to be part of his grand story of drawing people back to him. John Piper says it like this, missions exist because worship doesn't. We were created to worship our Heavenly Father. And the fact is there are billions of people still around the world today that are not worshiping, that do not know Christ and do not have a relationship with Him. Until that happens, until everyone has a chance to call on the name of Jesus, God will be relentlessly pursuing us, His creation.